Hey. <laughs> hey. Dog, it's Friday. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> so I'm Hillary Buholz, and I'm here with the lovely and talented Patty Quinn. <laughs> Aw, shucks. Hi, everybody. <laughs> so we're um, actually doing a little craft today that uh, came about because, uh, as you may know, I have a little wiener dog, Leon, and he's 14 years old now. So it used to be in the past, he would destroy a toy in about 0.2 seconds. So <laughs> that was, it was easy to, there might be a little toy carcass lying around or something like that. They'd have it for a couple of days and then it was pretty much in the trash. Um, nowadays, he's an older fella, so he doesn't have quite as many teeth. And um, now I have a surplus of toys, which is what you see in front of me. <laughs> and I needed to create something to help kind of contain these toys. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, the reason why we're doing something kind of custom is because he's a wiener dog. He's relatively low to the ground. And I wanted something that he could actually put his little snoot in, pick out his toys and pull them out. So what we've got here is just a customized toy container for dog toys and I will kind of you only have one or two toys there <laughs> <laughs> your pups aren't spoiled are they poor thing and yeah so <laughs> this may seem excessive i'm not really sure how to stop so it might it's be an not, addiction for all of us <laughs> it's not trust me once our first beagle daisy learned that and it took her uh, quite a number of years probably 10 years before she figured out if she didn't tear through it in 30 seconds she'd actually have it to play with you know for a few days or months or whatever so yeah it, it is a, an obsessive compulsive thing to like try and buy once you know they're gonna play with them you know yeah. they go out and get more and Leon just loves them. Lulu's usually scared of them at first. <laughs> so Leon has to play with them for a little while first. Get it. Okay, that's not. She loves tennis balls. That's the one thing. She's not scared of those and she loves the stick. But as far as yeah. the toys, she's a little apprehensive of toys until they've been broken in by her older brother. <laughs> they need to be big brother approved. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Well, so, I love uh, the box. It's a nice size there that you've got. Yeah, and you want to show the end again? Yep. Yeah. Let's... And that's kind of what I was going to mention. So what this box is, is actually just a big old Amazon box okay. that I cut down. So it's five inches. Okay. Uh, the, the height of it is five inches because that's a pretty good... Leon can still, he can crawl in it if he wants to. He can reach yeah. in it. So that was sort of my gauge of how tall it should be. Okay. And I was having trouble... I was looking for something to contain all of these toys. And when you're looking at baskets, there's a bunch of beautiful baskets out there. A lot of them are just too tall. And yeah. so, and they can get pretty spendy if they're this size and right. shape. So right. I was like, well, let's figure out a way to make our own. So that's, that's a great I, idea. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, so, most things that are shorter that Leon could get in would be smaller exactly they're smaller containers anyway and you're gonna put like three toys in there and that's not gonna and then the they're problem. gonna be completely yeah <laughs> yep yep so great well hi everybody thank you so much for joining hi brandon so great to see you today so i'm gonna move this out of the way and i will talk about kind of how oh, i did we this we want to see all those fluffy well you'll have to bring <laughs> the fluffy toys back at the end <laughs> Oh, it's too funny. Who else has an obsessive compulsive nature when it comes to dog toys? You just can't get in. I, I still, we don't even have pups at home anymore. And I am like, I was just walking by the grocery store. I'm like, two for one. Oh my gosh, what a deal. I got to get some. Like my husband's like, no, not, not right now. Right now. But there's, look how so cute they are. They're so squishy. They definitely get me every time. You're yeah. like, oh, he would love that one. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so I'm making a coordinating one that's a little smaller to hold their oh, trees. So. Okay, perfect. That's great. And I've got about the same size box um, that I'm going to practice with with you today. All right. So it's pretty simple. Um basically a box the size and shape that you're going to want for whatever you're containing so if it's like a toy box 
you know, probably a little larger. This one happens mm -hmm. to be a treat box. So I have it a little bit taller. And then I just have contact paper, like shelf lining paper. Okay. That's what I have stuck on the inside here. I have that also in the big toy box too, because I think it'll help when it comes to like trying to wipe things out, trying to keep things clean. So that right. was the whole reasoning for the contact paper. Just sure. something that's pretty durable, helps give it a little bit more support and also easy to wipe out and clean. Mm -hmm. And it's so, stylish too. Exactly, yeah. yeah, you can customize it to your decor, so. yeah. So you're just gonna put your contact paper all the way through and in the bottom here. Okay. You can do it alternating if you had different patterns that you wanted to use. Pretty much the sky's the limit on how you wanna do it, but just line it. And then okay. I'm also gonna be putting a lining on the bottom as well, just okay. to kind of keep everything finished a little bit. So okay. with these ones, um, try to have it at least roll over the edge a bit. All right. to kind of finish those edges so that sure. you're not seeing any cardboard box through anything. Another right. thing that you could do um, if you are worried about like being able to see the wording or something like that, you could spray paint your box okay. white or whatever color, it, whatever color you're working with. But I find that the actual rope that I'm putting on there covers it up pretty well you don't see any of the wording or anything like that so okay okay perfect so that's the next step then is just to to wind the rope around so right. the next step will be i'm going to put the contact paper here on the okay. bottom right just to cover that up and then it'll be the adding the adding rope. the rope portion. okay okay so um, Brenda says she needs to make one. <laughs> <laughs> we would love to see it if you do. I, yeah. they, they really turn out. They're a little, I, I will admit, they're a tad bit on the time consuming part, part uh, side of things, but they're super easy. Like once you start going, it, you just kind of um, meditative and you can keep <laughs> on going. You're just wrapping that rope around it. And the end result is really kind of a lot more than the pieces and parts, you know. So. Great. That's great. So I'm kind of taking some of your cues and I'm going to make a, a slightly different, I'm going to cover it slightly differently because mm -hmm. um, I didn't find um, uh, contact paper and things that really had that dog. I, I was looking for really dog themed mm -hmm. stuff. So I found this really cute um, fabric. Oh, so it's adorable. <laughs> instead of uh, contact paper, I'm going to wrap my box in fabric. And I, I've got my little Am Amazon box here. Uh, and then I've just, I'm really just, it, and nothing's attached yet. I'm going to glue it down here in a bit. But I'm just folding the sides and edges in. Mm -hmm. And almost like you would wrapping a, uh, wrapping a present. So okay. uh, that's really, I, so I, I just cut a piece big enough to to wrap all the sides. And then I just used a technique to just, like I would wrap a present um, instead of, I mean, you could be really particular and cut, you know, the long side and fold it in and make sure everything was absolutely secured, fitted to the box. But I kind of wanted something a little softer um, looking as well. So okay. I'm gonna be gluing my um, fabric on while you're getting your contact paper on. And, and you're then, not using any adhesive like on the box to stick the fabric to it. You're just hot yet. gluing I have, it. Yeah, I have literally just folded this. I mean, it's all just loosely put in place. And I think just um, gluing, gluing the inside, gluing these open, these loose edges here, all the edges to the box. Grab this one there like that. Just gluing all that to the box and securing it there will keep okay. the fabric in place. And then I found this fun, it's not contact paper, but it is shelf lining, but it's got these adorable little paw prints on it. Those are so cute. And it's waterproof and, and all that. I think some people you can, uh, on the label it was showing, you can put it on your dog's water bowl and stuff just to keep the floor nice and dry. But I thought this would be really adorable for the inside. So I cut a piece that I'm gonna then put on the inside of my box when that's all done. So I'm just gonna glue these glue these items in place. 
And then I've got a little yarn that I'm gonna add as an embellishment around the side, just like your rope technique. So oh, this is fun. So yeah, I'm just- Myra says these are super cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and she, Brenda thinks her dog's gonna probably eat her box, eat the box that she makes. So, well, that could be the case. Um, obviously these are not indestructible for sure uh, but the nice thing about it is it is just a cardboard box so you can the next time amazon comes to your door you can make another <laughs> toy box. you can make it you're not out much money as far as that goes so so I you were just showing it. you were showing the, the bottom side is that what you were yep yep okay so that's just stuck down on the bottom there and i have it's folded up on the edges just a bit so you still okay. see cardboard here but my rope is gonna cover that up. But it looks like I've misplaced my scissors. So I gotta grab some of those. <laughs> no problem. I'm just gluing along here. Again, it's like it's just like wrapping a present. It was really actually pretty easy to fold all these sides up. Um, I ended up folding the longest side first, um, just so it would have a nice flat side. The the two sides that you save for the end end up having this kind of triangular piece and get folded. And so the fabric pattern gets broken up with these folds. So I made that on the short end short just side. so that you could, so it has an, a little fin, a better finished look, uh, like look to it. Yeah, that is adorable. I love the, I love the print there. It's so cute. Thanks. Yeah. I wanted something that was, you know, like toyful, right? Playful, right? Yep. You know, something that, um emulated what was going to go inside and mine is kind of neutral uh mm -hmm. i love your modern pattern it looks really <laughs> sweet and then uh for the rope i had i on the bigger box i used nylon rope which works pretty well um this time i'm using some cotton polyester rope and okay i can show you the so it's a quarter inch um and it works pretty well. I wouldn't go any smaller than a quarter inch, really, for- Oh yeah, that would just take cause... forever, wouldn't it? <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> and you can obviously go larger. Um, sometimes that larger rope tends to get a little pricey. So I was trying to kind of find a happy medium somewhere in the middle. And so that's, this rope works out pretty well. Okay, great. I'm gonna stick my- all right, fall print here in the middle. The of just gluing it down. I think it's easiest to start at the bottom, and okay. And I don't necessarily start right at the corner. I can you can start a little bit away from the corner, but I'll just be starting to run a line of glue across here and then just placing that rope and held okay. kind of taut and just let it kind of secure on there. You're gonna continue gluing all the way around and then just meet up again and keep on going around okay. and around. So. Okay, is there a reason you don't start right at the corner? So it's, or just don't have it overlap that corner. So okay, just gotcha. having it just just, just on the inside that, of that corner of so that okay. you don't. So that you don't have an edge that's kind of poking out on the side there. Right, so. right, okay. That makes sense. All right, well, here's my box so far. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. This is gonna be cute. Brenda says she's still gonna make the box. Boxes are Bubba's favorite toy. He's a bass <laughs> town and loves to chew on them. <laughs> that's adorable that's funny so for my kind of rope technique i'm using a really fun fat yarn so it's soft and squishy and really colorful so i'm going to instead of covering up my sides i'm going to actually put it on the edge and just have like a little fur trim <laughs> around the edge of my my box so this ought to be cute I also think um, 
as you're doing this, it's really fun to kind of find a coordinating rope or something to kind of break up the the neutral color or whatever color you're using. So I have right. here a little bit of this, it's kind of a purpley kind of paracord type oh, of Oh, wow, yeah, rope. yeah. Yeah. So this one's a lot skinnier than my regular rope. So I only do like <laughs> three rows of it or something. It's really just to kind of break up the. <laughs> I like that idea. Yeah. Add a little pop of color. Yep. Yep. This is fun. Yeah. I, w I went, when you were saying you're having trouble looking for a box, you know, toy box. I was looking around as well, and it is hard to find something that's low enough for, you know, little wiener dogs or chihuahuas or smaller dogs to be able to, you know, pop their nose in and pull out a toy and still be able to hold a lot of toys. Right. Um, you know, that is a challenge for sure. There are some kind of um, under bed storage, like plastic storage. You could do the same kind of technique. Obviously, you wouldn't be hot gluing it necessarily, but you could kind of wrap one of those in some pretty fabric or something right, like that right. to kind of uh, customize those. But I, some of those are still a little bit too high. So, okay, yeah, it's nice to be able to really customize it to the size that you want. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is really cute. And when you're, if you're doing the rope technique, um, you're going to want something that's pretty pliable so that it can actually run around those corners pretty easily, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So the nylon or the cotton at a quarter of an inch, if you get a whole lot thicker than this, it gets pretty tough to really have those, have it go around those corners easily. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, and you could use the yarn like I've got too, um, you know, really fat knitting yarn um, yep. works well too. Um, it just gives you a fuzzier look to your box and not, not as clean oh. lines, Looks which like I think go really well with. Froze on me. Oh. Are you back? <laughs> I'm here. Okay, good. <laughs> Go around all the way with your rope yet? Not quite. No, I'm a little slow. <laughs> no, you're fine. Um, one of the things too, uh, it's it's an easy process, and you do get faster at it as you go. So mm -hmm. the first one's the hardest, but once you start kind of getting a feel for it, it goes pretty quickly, and you'll start kind of gluing it as opposed to just gluing it to the box. You're kind of gluing them to that rope that you've already put down. Okay. So you have a little bit of something for the hot glue gun to run along. Right. So you're kind of gluing in between there. Yeah, that would make it that would make it a little more easier to have a little more surface to yep. To glue. So now I'm just I've just cut my yarn. I'm just matching up the two ends. And <laughs> I think I've oh that's got... adorable. <laughs> This is the craziest idea for a toy box. That's so adorable. It's so cute. Little fluffy ends. Bye, Brenda. She's got to run. So glad you enjoyed it. I would love to see your toy box. I know Hillary would too whenever you're done. So you'll have to add it to this post. This is my finished toy box. Really cute. Adorable. You can even um, take this idea and insert a pillow or something and make a, a dog bed out of it too. If you if you have a smaller, obviously this is would be for a small pup, uh, but it's a really cute idea. So here's my- Oh, you've got that row. first bottom edge, yeah. 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 So it'll just be a matter of continuing up along the way and then okay. probably about- hmm, Two thirds? I'd say maybe? an inch and a half down or so. I will do, I'll run that purple paracord. Okay. So it just breaks up the the neutrals and kind of gives yeah. it a little bit of decorative appeal. Yeah. yeah, no, that'll be sweet. And um, you could also um, 
with the finished product, you could, you know, customize them however you want. You could put your dog's name on it or, you know, yeah. paint something or add like wooden letters with your dog's name, something like that. So you can really, you know, customize them however you'd like. That's a great idea. And I was thinking too of getting some kind of um, embellishments on the side. Just be careful that they're not things that your dog would chew off or right. swallow. I was thinking pom poms would be cute, you know, that like a little um, tassels or things like that, but they might be too enticing for your pup. Yeah, I was going to say Leon would have that thing. Like, yeah. <laughs> so try to keep it as clean, you know, close to the box, that kind of thing, just so that the box itself. Now, obviously, Brenda's Bassett loves chewing on boxes regardless <laughs> of what they look like, but just try to make it um, not part of the toys in the yeah. toy box <laughs> as best you can. So great idea, Hillary. Thank you so much for sharing. Yeah, no problem. I, I hope you I hope if you end up deciding to make one, anybody out there, we would love, love, love to see how they turn out, see how it works for you. So please let us know. Yeah, that would be great. We've had a lot of fun with everybody today. Thanks so much for joining with us. As always, we truly appreciate every single one of you and so glad to be able to spend this time together it really means a lot to us we have a lot of fun this is kind of our stress relief for the for the week the end of the week and we hope we've inspired you to do something fun this weekend so um feel free to go out there and give it a try and, and send us your pictures yeah and if you want to keep informed with anything that we've got going on or anything that we, is coming up in the future mm -hmm. uh please go ahead and um we'll have a link in this post on how to join our mailing list. Our mailing list is really one of the best ways to just make sure you never miss out on anything that we've got going on. So we right. would love it if you decide to join up with us. So you can do that with that link in this post. That sounds great. Thank you. And one last comment from Myra. She said she'd have to do a plastic one, yep. L -O -L -O -L, <laughs> because the hounds slobber on all the cardboard. But you could still use that rope idea. That rope technique would be really cute to take, yep. you know, a plastic container and, and make it decorative, too. So have fun. Enjoy. We really enjoyed spending time with you. Enjoy your weekend with your pups. And we'd love to see your pictures whenever you get them, uh, your finished products done. Thanks, everybody. Thank have you. a good one. Take care. Bye. -bye. Bye-bye.